Welcome to this light language transmission. Um, <laughs> today I feel um, the galactic beings extremely near. Um, I grow out the great, the grow the greens, the grow the colleague, the get the ice to grow the get in the grow the gale. There are a lot of messages and. Mm, it's not easy to get them out, I don't know why. I have <laughs> the head full of information, but a blockage. <sighs> For them to come out again, Taka Itokura Stakate Itokuru Shindai Golo Koran Nagarate Kiti E. Yogora Ese Aindu Gora Tegere Ntakulore Tegere Stai Tai Goro Takete Ntakulum Bai Ukuru Tokuru Tegere Sindai Karatakuru Steke Kai Karatakara. Okay, I do understand. Some of you um, are being in this void or in this winter time or you know just a time where nothing happens or uh, you don't get anything that you wish for no messages no um, signs no colors <laughs> no dragon <laughs> and I couldn't take a look at it I do a secret to get it you can go to the key I'm a look at it um They're also saying this is part of ascension, the ascension process. You need to live and go through this um, void or dark place where nothing happens. Until you uh, like or love this not getting anything it's about mm, i think it's about letting go or accepting that nothing happens or you don't get what your brain or your mind wants to get um, they're saying baby steps baby steps in your actions and everything will make sense I'm Kuru Tukutikiti, I am a Karasaita, I Kuru Takilikin Takara. For people being, um, I'm not sure why I, maybe something is itching you or, or it's about your throat chakra being balanced. Tai Kuru Utake or your jawline, or something with your jaw. Mm, tai kuro takeri nta kulo kara takeri sengari kuro tiki tiki yamakarash to kuro takeri lai nai takeri te. Some of you need to know that they don't have to carry the weight of the world. They only need to set boundaries. This is something that a lot of star seeds need to learn: setting boundaries, saying no freeing themselves from things that they don't need to carry. There's also seven stars I can see. I hear seven sisters and I also hear seven, yeah, the seven star sisters or something like that. So, okay, 
and then they want me to talk about uh, yesterday's energies that I got through but I didn't um, felt the the need to sit down and and record and um, there was a lot of um, Venusian energy coming through a lot of unconditional love um, and for someone out there the name Val or Valiant Thor is important or they have looked this being up, um, Kiri in Tai Kulor, I hear it was a real one. Kamain to Kuru Tokere is sign Grote Stukra, Tai Klai Korum Takere, Tai Sandagra, Kiyukara, Ayakorum Pelekere. The ascension process is pushing through the envelope, it's not a smooth um, process. Mkala um, Takere, it, um, if you are feeling pain or hurt or you're in the middle of a fight and feeling like you won't come out um, just know that this is part of it and um, you're already or nearly through it or I hear the light at the end of the tunnel so you can see the light or you are or you're something in you has already seen the light even if you might still be in this dark tunnel you have a pioneering spirit so um, a lot of you have I hear cat energy or a lot of independent energy and you have come to earth to bring peace and bring healing and raise consciousness on earth in your unique way um, that's why it's so important to be authentic and unique and who you are because you're I hear unique all the time unique unique and this is special it's amazing it's wonderful okay um, animals have been coming through a lot and I think today I know why because some of your guides have come in form of your animals not all of not all animals have how do I explain this all our animals are guides okay but not all of them are guides that you will if one of your animals or your animal is your personal guide that has come through through your animal to help you um, raise the frequency or help you heal others or help you on your soul path okay you will know because it will come through in dreams or you will hear or just know or feel that they are your guide it, it's just an inner feeling of knowing it or seeing it you might even see it and i hear that um it's it's um it's beautiful because they will bring you light coats these animals bring light codes and some of them are cats a lot of them are cats but not all of them you you might have another animal i can also see someone with a white animal it can even be a rabbit so it doesn't really matter what type of animal you have but a lot of them are cats and they have a guide in them and you will recognize that your animal is your personal um, galactic guide yes yeah that's why okay so all animals are guides for us here on earth but some of them are galactic guides um, or what is this called in soul no mm, when galactics come and come into a body 
to help I'm not sure how this is called something with insole or well whatever and you will know that your animal is a galactic guide if you have always known that your animal is wise okay wiser than the rest of, of, of the species or or if they have a certain way of looking at you in their eyes, you, you will know it in when you look in their eyes, something with their eyes or with the way of dealing with um, changes. So they're extremely calm or flexible or adapt extremely well, better than the usual, you know, like if we take a cat, they will adapt extremely well, like you can drive for hours with them or you know they would do something that isn't really um, that cats usually don't like they will take it they might say okay I don't like it but then they would just ease into it or um, relax and accept and I don't know how to explain this better but um, some of your guides are galactic guides are in your animals okay and you also get light codes through, light codes. I hear light codes, light codes, and they send me some of those codes. Um, it looks interesting because I can just see a dot and then a line. <laughs> and oh, beautiful because some of you hear voices in your head and they're still scared so everything that holds humanity back um, from ascending or living in this new earth that is already here I hear um, is fear and this is why you are called to step up and you know Go through your fears because you're the pioneers okay um, you're the ones helping save humanity helping save the planet um, you have come here you have a mission and uh, you have transformed your mental state or you are transforming it or um, you take the leaves of faith or you're different okay <laughs> I some of I I some of you here or are being contacted um by galactics I hear. That's probably why this name of Val or Valiant Thor is coming through. You are being contacted because of your energy something like this and when you hear a voice um, act like your guides um, you might feel fear because something happens or you might you know um, suddenly have um, weird <laughs> ways of moving your arms or twitching or Or other things might happen that are a bit scary maybe um, and you need to know that you are being protected and unconditionally loved okay and Arcturian energies are coming through they are I see Arcturians being around earth and maintaining a balance somehow or balancing out certain things and we are just asked to um, instead of having or feeling this fear we should just replace it by um, interest okay it's as if something has your interest suddenly or you're open up um, you need to open up to understand or know more so if you're being contacted or if you are getting 
light coats through or if you're getting feelings go deeper okay ask the voice that you hear in your head who it is where it comes from um, why it is there um, I hear power of sound so there's a lot of energy um, mm, vegan energy as well so um, vegans I'm not sure is this a these are galactics as well or maybe you connect with them because you feel like you you always felt this need to eat vegan food or raw food or just follow your inner calling and um, the inner calling is what you love doing okay if you want to know what is my life mission what am I supposed to do go into your heart and ask yourself what would you love to do um, you know if you had a day for yourself what would be the thing that you could be doing the whole day and you wouldn't even look at your clock once light language is coming through more and more more and more and it's nothing that is planned um, some certain activations or things you do or listen to might help um, opening up your energy field so it can come in but it's something that happens suddenly and it's unplanned and it's a form of protection as well so you can need it for protection or clearing your energy field okay and healing yourself also to clear confusion there's a lot of feminine energy coming through um, and Lyra feminine energy and also earth energy this is also a feminine energy so this unconditional love this feminine energy is balancing something and it's this love or unconditional love for yourself that most of you need to accept and ease into it get used to baby steps are here again pushing yourself is a masculine energy so accepting and receiving is a feminine energy and um, Syrian energy is coming through with the messages are coming through when you are playful when you're in your element when you're doing the things that you love and you forget about uh, what you want to do and what you wait what you're waiting for okay <laughs> they're being extremely excited or they look excited they, it it feels a bit like yes yes um, <laughs> they're nearly there or um some of you are um, at the verge of <laughs> I don't know or have just gotten a message or <sighs> maybe you have mm, yes they say but some of you are still a bit scared or they just try to tell themselves no this is not true or no I'm just imagining things but you're not okay <laughs> and um, it feels a bit like they find it funny to <laughs> they're being extremely careful and loving um when contacting us because in the past they have come through that's va valiant thor comes through all the time so i'm not sure why but probably because they have come through so many times in the past to help save our planet and humanity and every single being on this planet and they haven't been um, 
respected or no it's it's more about they haven't been the consciousness wasn't high enough or something like this so um we weren't ready for it that's why we are so many now here and this is why it's so important that we all step into our mission and do what we are supposed to do and they are coming through this is yes because they know they have tried to contact our um, government or our you know the highest of all and I hear high council as well so they have tried but they haven't been able to help or release or heal or um, it's it, it feels a bit like they have sown seeds you know and these seeds have now grown and I hear sprouting so you're a bit like the seeds oh yeah you're the star seed so you're basically you're the seeds being planted on earth and now you need to grow so <laughs> yes I know we need to look at ourselves as being plants <laughs> growing and growing you know we grow when we have love and the sun and the nourishment we need so make sure you have what you love you have the sun and you know or and the nourishment you need so mm, and nourishment is not only what you eat it's what you surround yourself with the music you listen to the things you think about the people you surround yourself with the work you're doing in your everyday life um, the boundaries I hear boundaries a lot um, if you need to evacuate or clear use your breath because your breath um, is powerful okay it's like getting out things because I can feel this pressure again on the lungs and on and this weight some of you are carrying um, that they don't need to carry it's not your mission to carry the weight of others it's it's not like this that you will you know it's not this way that you will help them understand it's by letting them carry them their weight themselves when something comes through use it use it for your benefit because it only comes through in pure souls And when you're ready, when you have gone through the void and you have gone through the pain and you have you have this cat-like energy, very it's a very powerful feminine energy that you know in you embody male or female, we don't care, okay? So I kurum takari ita ishtukurotekiti and make sure you you um, get enough sleep or enough rest because I can feel that the whole thing is can be extremely tiring and um, there's also an energy of um, I'm not sure how they are called I hear telos or um, something with a it's not Arcturians it's a gardens or something like that it's and they are extremely tall and they live in side of earth and they have come through before because they are connected to mother earth because there's an energy of this feminine 
the, the Gaia, right? The, the Mother Earth energy. And I can see her breathing in and breathing out. Some of you have been connecting to them without knowing it. And they hear voices sometimes in the wind or in their head or in their dreams or sometimes when people talk to them they hear another voice talking to them at the same time you will know if it's a galactic guide if it's extremely loving and peaceful an energy that you're not used to on earth and you might feel it in your mm, in your body <laughs> it's a weird feeling right it's like goosebumps all over um <laughs> or feeling cold suddenly or hot or um, you will feel if they are around you just trust it trust it and Some of you are getting symbols or you start drawing and you draw the light codes in form of symbols. And I also see someone being in pain. Um, I don't know if it's the arm or the leg and they draw, without thinking, they draw a symbol on where, where it hurts most and they're drawing a light code on it to heal faster we are getting codes through to heal ourselves and others Kim Dora Valiant Thor I'm not sure why he comes through all the time Kiri Mungorun Takiri Ndai Kale Kere Tai Suro Takare Takere Ndai Stukuru Takiti Tai Lai Yai Nantara Takara So Yikere Tai Kala Yamukuru Tai Dragonflies are coming through again and dragons as well. Mm. This dragon energy is, is not <laughs> is always here. <laughs> Somehow. Kim Kurota. Utaitakeli. And make sure to use symbols, right? Symbols um, when you eat. Um, bless your food before you eat it. Um, send the information into your water. And breathing comes through, like breathing. something with your jaw <laughs> or, or itching mm. I hear it's a form of purification as well of your body adapting to the new frequency because you are changing frequencies <laughs> we will be back <laughs> as always um, They're showing me like, um, it, it looks a bit like as if they would, you know, stand there and then suddenly they, they <laughs> um, extremely fast, they fly off and become stars or they fly off to the stars or something like that. I don't know if this makes sense to any one of you, but they're extremely fast and 
they can cloak themselves they can they know you they know everything about you so don't worry just be yourself the more you can be your authentic self and live your authentic self the better it will feel okay so um, I hope this transmission helped I'm wishing you an amazing day and um, a lot of love and happiness and strength especially if you need it and a lot of healing to all of you we always need healing <laughs> and um, I see you very very soon <laughs>